Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this problem. And so let's begin. So the issue of this problem, it says the limit as X approaches infinity. And if we put sine infinity, you know, I have no clue what that's gonna be. Is it gonna be negative one? Is it gonna be one? I have no clue. But I at least know for sine of X that the maximum value sine of X can be is one. And the lowest it can be is negative one. Now our problem isn't sine of x, it's sine of x divided by 4x. But with that, what if I go ahead and I divide by 4 of x, and I divide by 4 of x everywhere, and then I divide by 4 of x here. What I'm applying is something called the squeeze theorem, where I don't know the information for this piece, but I can maybe gather information for this piece and this piece, and if the values are the same, I can narrow down my answer. And I'll show you what I mean by this. So the next step is to find out the limit as x approaches infinity for this piece, negative one divided by four x. Now, if I put infinity here, I get negative one divided by infinity, which is going to be zero. Now, we have to try this form too, limit as x approaches infinity for one divided by four x. Again, if I put infinity here, I get one divided by infinity, which is zero. So I know that this piece right here for this limit is zero, and this piece right here for this limit is also zero. And I know sine x divided by four x is in between this piece and this piece, but both pieces are zero. That must mean that this piece will also be zero, applying the thing called squeeze theorem. So our final answer for that limit would be zero. Now in the description box, there's two playlists. One playlist features random limit problems, but the other one features specific problem types. So if you want more practice, check out the description box. That's it for this video.